Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wherever the hell that is Looks like floating clouds I mean Catherine This is Levy Dollar Fan, the Amish Gamer In the last part, we have talked to more of the locals of the stray sheep But found out that most of them weren't there But, as fate will have it, it brought us straight to the seventh floor Or the spiral corridor and when we reach the top, everyone is all here. But not you. I don't want you here. Regardless enough, everyone is here. And by you're going to figure out, I'm going to start calling them by their real names. Because everyone knows who they are by now. This is Mustang. Yeah, let's talk to Mustang first. Here I am. Again. Yeah, again. Hey. Do I know you? Yes, you do. Well, you're doing too much alcohol. That's what you get. No. I've never given serious thought to death and dying. Everyone has that serious thought, but most people don't. Some do. Most don't. Anyways, let's talk to Orlando. Uh, or the sheep with the red hat. I've been running like there's no tomorrow, but who knows how long I'll last. It'll last a long time. Yeah, it's not over. Yeah, I definitely know you. How? Long time ago. In the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> this is funny. My legs are shaking. Everyone's is by the time they're climbing up a lot of damn blocks. Anyways. As we can see over there, there's blocks and pillows. But we don't need those. Because he's greedy enough as it is already. Anyways. Here's Rep or Daniel. Let's talk to him. I know. Wait, how? So easily. You can't climb. I'll teach you some tricks. Yeah, please. I'm tired of this place. But I'm also tired of reality. Wow. Adopted. So I'm constantly being asked to show the results of being raised by them. Wow. I lived my life for someone else. I worked hard to show that I was worthy of living. And even after all that hard work, I still can't hold on to the one woman I love. Money and power. They're obstacles. To what I truly want. That's sad. True freedom. I just want normal freedom everyone else has. Eh, he actually has a good point. He actually has kind of he wants normal freedom, but he doesn't want true freedom. I can see where he's going with that. Anyways, just don't give up. Follow me. Follow action bastard. Love her, don't give up. Yeah. You. Oh, I remember now. You told me something similar when we were kids. Really? I'll follow you. I'll chase after you the best I can, just like when we were little. Wait, why were you chasing me when we were little? I don't remember this. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Follow me. You're not going to. Let's see you. And I always keep confusing this one with the other guy. One's Todd, one's Archie. This is Archie. You're late. Huh? How am I late? I came here because you talked me into climbing up. So, uh, well, I wanted to say thanks. Welcome. It's good to see you. In this place, you need to kick people out of your way if you're going to survive. True, but. To help me. You're too soft. Uh huh. That soft guy saved your ass. Yeah. Let's talk again up above. At least this soft guy saved your ass. I can agree to that. Let's talk again up above. Very repeated damn dialogue. It always happens. And. Eh. And here's Todd, who I confuse for Archie. This guy kind of looks like an Archie. He really does to me. I don't know why, but he looks like an Archie. He doesn't look like a Todd. He looks like an Archie. This dream again. It looks like I've been saved. Yeah, no, you haven't. I was saved thanks to you. Really? I was done for. But remember how you cheered me on. Yeah, I did. You see. Well, by the way, you're good. You see. I'm gonna stop bitching about it. After all, I'm a man. Yeah. I've been around for too long, and I'll leave you behind. See you up above. You're manly! Be manly all of a sudden! I'm gonna stop bitching about it. And you're still using repeated time dialogue! Blah 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 blah! <clears throat> Regardless. Glad he's here. Anyways, Morgan. Great, you're safe too. Honestly, I think you're the only reason I'm alive right now. Really? I feel confident that I can face anything. Without the help of donuts. 
This is gonna be a long night. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a long night. But we'll make it through. Don't let your guard down though. More repeated damn dialogue. It's just like Super Mario RPG all over again. Anyways, here's Justin. Oh, thank goodness you're still okay. We've lost a lot of our comrades. Yeah, I know. It's just like war. In the battlefield, we will lose many men. Not the courage. Unless you're a pussy, then you are just a little bitch. Anyways, let's work together. Let's put our heads together to survive. Yeah. I'll tell you about a technique I just thought of. What did you think of? Allow me to explain the back spider. The back spider. When you hang it, you can move around to the back side of block. This technique is very useful, but there's only a few problems I have with it. Number one. You can't see, you most likely cannot see from the back. That's one of the problems. The second problem he's going to mention. But remember, the controls are reversed if you stop while you're back there. That's the problem. The second one I have. But anyways, it's still a good technique, regardless. When I see you, I feel like you deserve to go farther than I do. Oh, we both do, man. Uh, hey, I thought of another technique. You can still make it. Allow me to explain the fall dodger. Full dodger, this is actually a good technique, but at the same time has its downfall. The only downfall I have with it, he's probably going to mention as soon as I talk about it. That is the problem, because right there, if you don't move, you're smashed and you're screwed. This isn't Zelda. I am Action Bastard. That's who I am. Deal with it. Not gonna talk to you again because you're gonna review techniques. I know how you work. Anyways, this random sheep. Hey, let me thank you while I still can. What? Why? I've always looked up to you. You never give up. You really? So much from you. I'm grateful for all you've done for me. Thank you. <laughs> thank me later. <laughs> we'll both in the end. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you at the top. Yeah, let's see each other at the top so that we can give each other beers or whatnot. I'll see you at the top. This was kind of repeated, but not entirely. Anyways, let's talk to you. This random sheep with a tie. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Wait, who? And you're safe today too. Damn it. What? Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Um You don't say, Vincent. You don't say. Anyways. <laughs> you're pretty shady. Let's Talk to you? What? Oh boy. Oh great, you get a hard on for killing people, don't you? Yeah, you got a killing fetish. It's not healthy. Anyways, away from you, go into the confessional, doing the same thing we always do by sitting. Yeah, me too. Shortest conversation ever. Anyways, eleventh question. Is there more to a man woman relationship than physical differences? Is there more to a relationship? You this question's not right. There's more to it than that. That is also that is the one of the questions that many people are asking. Hey, isn't this the seventh floor? Get past this part. Isn't the goal right there? Yay! Awesome. Right. I'm almost there then. I'll escape from this place as fast as I can. <laughs> I'll take you to the next level. Catherine. Yes, Catherine with a K. The one with the C is a slut, a dirty, dirty slut. Regardless enough, this question was actually quite hmm. How can I put this in a word that some people understand? It's actually a good question. Okay. Well, that's good. Humans are not just animals. But I'm surprised that almost 25% think so. Anyways, the question was, is there more to a relationship than physical attraction? Yes, there is. In my honest opinion, yes, there is. But to some pigs out there, they think not. So... Moving on, I don't want to go into a rant about that. Any 
Anyways, moving up. Second floor. The following challenge stages will put your true abilities to the test. Really? Bringing down the house if you're facing the wall hole. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> no. Let's move on before my patience wears out. Yeah, you do, Vincent, or else you pretty much die. Anyways, moving on. Okay, this is where the wolf hall, the fall, bleh, the fall dodger will come into effect. But I know a way to counter it. Push. You know what? Might as well just climb that block. Oh wait, I can't do anything. Anyways. Oh crap. Anyways, let's get rid of that sheep because that sheep looks like it's going to annoy the hell out of me. Regardless enough, moving aside. Push that way. This is where the fall dodger comes in handy, right there. Yeah, climb down. Hop, 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 hop. Give me that, thank you. Uh, avoid that. I don't really need the pillow. Hop, hop, hoppity hop. Oh, wait. Da, 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 da. Right here, it gets kind of tricky. But if you actually know what you're doing, you're good. You know what? Hop on up so I don't lose that. Hop on down. I want those coins. That's all I want. It's those coins. And I got a perfect score from that. Wow. Yeah, some puzzles in here on normal, they're pretty easy, but on easy, they just make them completely normal like a child can do it. Thanks, mysterious voice. Anyways, I don't want to see the Fro Trophy anymore. Regardless enough, I made it to the top. Hmm. But why are you here? You know what? I'm just gonna to talk to the sheep. Let's see, the tie wearing one. What? Uh, you're still talking to yourself. Uh, regardless enough, let's talk to everyone else. And surprisingly, you're still alive. Yay! What's the matter? Wait, what? Your voice. Why did you leave me? She's the one who left me. Oh no. Oh God. Was left. Okay, a little backstory behind that. If you pretty much remember what was going on with Orlando, Orlando was married. But due to some financial problems, his wife left him. So his problem is, is that he thinks she left, or he left her. But in reality, she left him. So this kind of makes me feel sorry for him. It does really make me feel sorry for him. Even though he could be a dick at times, he still has emotion. It just makes me feel sorry for Orlando. But anyways, let's talk to you. I don't think so either. Yeah, Sophie. How, man? Ah. Oh, God. She was thinking in those last hours she had. Maybe. Maybe if I told her that I loved her instead of get out. Maybe she would still be alive. Your will to live is much stronger if you know uh. that someone loves you, isn't it? Don't blame yourself like that. I've said too much. Go. The road is long. I feel sorry for this guy. As he mentioned, he said he was the one that killed his wife. But the reason why he thinks he killed her because the only thing he said to her was get out. As I mentioned many, many times earlier, 
This guy's feeling guilt and regret. And I kind of feel sorry for this guy too. This right here is pretty much good. Bleh. This game has actually proven that this has very good story and character development. Yeah, I repeated dialogue. But this ma it makes me feel sorry for the characters. It really does. Let's talk to Mustang over here. Why is he over here by a corner by himself? What? 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 Wait, what? For tra- what? Okay, a little backstory behind Johnny's character. Okay, you know what? Before I go into this thing, the reason why Mu he's here is because, number one, his pride gets in the way, and pretty much because of his pride, he won't go back to his ex-wife or forgive his ex-wife. Johnny's here because he won't marry his girlfriend he has now, and when he said portraying his best friend, that means Vincent. Because his betrayal means loving Catherine. This is the problem that he's he that he's going through, and that's why he's here. Pretty much that's the reason why Mustang's here. In a way, I don't feel sorry for him, but in a way, I do. But right there, it kind of shows that he's a dick. But should I forgive him? Yeah, because he's awesome. Anyways... Your problem? Let's talk to you, Daniel. Pieces of the puzzle are starting to come together. You're Vincent, aren't you? You're always a strange man. Wow. I figured it out from watching you talk to the other sheep. I wanted to become like you. Me. You always wow. listen to other people's problems. Just like you do now. And eventually, they forget their problems. Change the subject and laugh all their worries away. I was laughing too. Behind you. It was comforting being around. Wow. Anything like that happen. When I first ended up in here, I thought I wouldn't mind dying. My life had been an empty 32 years. I figured I'd live too long. Wow. But then I met you again. You encouraged me in the bar. And here, thanks. You've inspired me to keep going. I'll see you again. Wow. I kind of like this guy, and this pretty much makes me wonder, because one guy figured it out, Morgan figured it out, now Daniel figured it out. Thanks. You can spike. See you again. Orlando already figured it out, kinda. I don't know, but let's talk to you, Justin. I don't have any more techniques to tell you. I don't have the will to go on, either. Hey, hey man. Hey, why? I know. I don't know where my life's going, and to add marriage on top of that, it just stresses me out. <laughs> Ouch. I've got a heavy cross to Probably. Me. I can't share that burden with the one I love. So, I should split up with her, but I can't. I'm a weakling and a liar. Plus, I don't need Wow. That. Why a cross? It's one punishment. It's the truth. I'm wow. Tired. I can't think of any more techniques. Hang on, I just thought of something. That's you sad. Know, Allow me to explain. Hey, do you want to help out about the techniques? Okay, marching spider. Oh, I already did this one already. I already did this. It's pretty much pushing blocks out of the way and just doing that. I already done that before. You pretty much saw what I did, so I don't need to explain it. Yeah. I believed I could save people. Aren't you doing that right now? With your you parents? still do. I don't know. But it looks like I have no choice but to move ahead. Well, that's it. It's the truth, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, this guy, he said he didn't save people, but he actually has. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, let's review. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but regardless, yeah, he's actually saved people with his techniques. But regardless, I don't understand why he's feeling down. It kind of makes me wonder. And let's talk to Todd and Archie. God, you aren't an Archie. You guys are safe. Watching you climb has given me some ideas. Looks like the big one isn't coming. Really? You okay? Yeah. Yep. Huge monsters really get to you, don't they? In my 
case. It's my dad. My father was a great man. Wow. He built a fortune with his own two hands. He was a real man. Wow. Was surrounded by women. He always told me to be like him, but I was a failure to my dad. Um. Everything I did just pissed him off. I was hit, kicked, out. ignored, and in the end, I was abandoned. I managed to make ends meet and came this far. Seriously? Ow. Probably still looking for Sucks. him to acknowledge me, to love me, to forgive me. The passion to reach the top, to be with huh. women. God, I'm just mimicking my goddamn father. I wanted to be like my dad. Wow. Well, for him to recognize me and my existence. You don't say. I, huh. I'm a bit like you. I see. Huh. Right. I'll talk to you up above. Keep climbing. I'll meet you later. So pretty much his problem is he wants to be just like his dad, but I've had that problem too. Usually a lot of people have that problem. They just want their parents to know that they love them and want to accept them, but they don't. So anyways, let's talk again. Huh. Really? Anyways, let's talk to Archie. This t or bah! Yes, you look more like an Archie, but you look like Elvis. Hmm. True enough. Uh, I think we talk. Oh, wait, we didn't talk to you, the shady character. Yeah. You're just crazy. Cut yourself, then you can see a lot of blood. Regardless enough, I'll stop right here. Since after, since in the next episode, I'm going to keep on going anyway. So, next time on Let's Play Catherine, we'll continue on to the top, to the third floor. Possibly to the fourth, we don't know. If you like this part, rate, comment, subscribe, like my Facebook and Twitter page. Ask me on Forum Spring. And that's pretty much all I can say. Until we meet again, this is Levy Domstrack. Keep launching one and all. Goodbye, farewell, adieu, I'll feed this thing, and most importantly... Goodbye, my fellow Amish folk. I will see you again in the next episode.